What's going on guys, your boy Amazing Cure back with another video and in today's video guys we are here with the Lancelot update We got the global patch notes and I'm here with chat by the way as well. Say hello chat um, We're gonna be covering all the stuff with the update here man and uh, yeah going through it and they posted on global because this is a dual celebration I mean this also is the global sync. We're getting all updates from now on synced up with JP We are here man. Let's talk about what's coming with the update. So we got the 5.5 anniversary grand festival pull draw diamond purse event 5.5 anniversary supernova jump box event we have the up to 200 diamonds check-in event we have the 5.5 anniversary special thank you draw featuring level 90 urs and then we have the heroes bloodline young knight lancelot ur festival all right so let's see so we got lancelot here and they also have vargis added too because he's going to be the top 100 character so we'll talk about uh what, what he actually does i think that should they have his details Oh, wait, so they have, like... Oh, wait, they do have the, the, the patch details for these, too. Okay, banner? What are we thinking about the banner? Let's see. Let's go down. Wait, DK Melly's on it? Wait! Wait! Wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait, why, why'd they show him in the banner? Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, wait. Uh, reach 900 loyal experience to get the new hero. Also featuring the most popular heroes in the poll. Why'd they put him? Yo, yo, did they predict did they predict people would vote him but then they didn't vote him? Is that what happened? Okay, this is what the banner is, guys. So it cuts off at Ominous Nebula. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Alright, let's see. So oh! And you can pick any of the URs at, at 900 pity. Wait, that's crazy! You can pick any of the URs at, at 900 pity. Wow, that's really, really good. And then yeah, this is gonna be the power up uh you know draw. It's gonna be the uh six percent rates banner right that's crazy guys that's crazy and then yeah these are ssr you are all right we'll have to edit that out <laughs> all right so there we go there's the poll draw i mean this is what we expected let's talk about the kit let's talk about the kit so let's open it up here so this is what we got heroes bloodline young knight lancelot applies insight on the hero at the start of the battle for three turns the hero's max hp increases by eight percent for each applicable ally participating in the battle when a applicable ally uses a single target attack uh, and deals damage the mark of insight is applied for three turns to a maximum of one enemy and in addition each time an applicable ally deals damage to an enemy afflicted with the mark of insight during the ally's turn the hero gains one piercing arrow and at the start of the ally's turn the hero's attack related stats increase by five percent for each attack type skill the enemy has now the applicable allies are humans fairies and four knights of apocalypse the inside effect is going to be applicable allies damage taken minus 30 percent and then you have human allies here defense related stats plus 15 percent for each one participating in the battle and then we have the fairy allies basic stats plus five percent for each one participating in the battle as well and then we have uh, Mark of Insight, which is Critical Defense minus 50%. You have the Piercing Arrow Effect, which is 100% Pierce Rate. And all removed uh, all removed when dealing damage with all targeted attack skills other than the ultimate move. And then, uh, yeah, stacks up to three times right there, guys. And then they have this new effect right here, which is a, a Talent Effect now. Which is going to reveal the enemy's uh, skills on the ally's turn the talent is used. And it removes debuffs from the hero equal to the number of enemies participating in the battle with a cooldown of three turns. And he is a human fairy dual race character. Now for his skills, he has the impact skill, which is going to inflict impact damage equal to 450% of attack on one enemy. Impact is going to be three times pierce rate increase and ignore resistance. And then his second skill here is going to inflict penetration damage. So, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess this is literally just pierce, but penetration. So, uh, damage uh, equal to 250% of attack on all enemies. And penetration attack is going to be plus 50% when using a skill. Increases damage dealt by half of the pierce rate as well. And then here, let me uh, move this up a little bit as well, just so we can see it a little bit better. All right, and then for his uh, ultimate here, and this is not 6 out of 6, we'll check the dupes. Increases the hero's attack related stats by 50% for 3 turns, and the hero gains 3 piercing arrows. Then inflicts impact damage equal to 750% of attack to all enemies. And while the hero is participating in the battle, enemies afflicted with the mark of insight will have their damage dealt decreased by 20%. And when the hero uses an all targeted attack skill other than the ultimate move, additional damage is dealt equal to 100% of the damage dealt to enemies afflicted with the mark of insight. And then the piercing arrow is going to be pierce rate plus 100%. All removed when dealing uh, damage with all targeted attacks other than the ultimate move. And it stacks up to three times. And then the impact is obviously going to be times three pierce rate, ignore resistance. And then mark of insight is critical defense minus 50%, guys. Crazy, crazy character, crazy character. So dupe wise, the damage dealt decreases. And when the hero uses all target attack other than the move, additional damage dealt is activated regardless. Oh, 
So this, wait, okay, so the okay, so the additional damage starts out at 60% at 1 out of 6. Wow. So 1 out of 6, you still get 60% extra damage though. That's insane. And then it goes up to 100%. That's crazy. And then, oh, Vargi. So see what Vargi says. He's top 100, so, you know, we're not going to be able to use him. But uh, when participating in the battle with applicable ally, the hero with the applicable ally's defense related stats increased by 30%. And that applicable ally is only personal. Spike single target. Uh, 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 what is that? D rank skill, right? Single target, and then cancel bus and stances, and then stun. Okay, so nothing crazy, but that's a top 100 unit. We're not to expect anything crazy from that. All right, so there we go, guys. That's the first part of the update. Let's go back now, and we'll see what else we got with the update. Ooh, this is this is juicy, though, guys. This is juicy. All right, so yeah, we got obviously Lancelot. We talked about his kit. Uh, you can check it out uh, earlier in the video. We got the new chapter of the story as well. So chapter two is going to be available. Uh, we have the uh, new costumes for Lancelot as well. I think, you know, the Gilgamesh one is, is cooking. You know, the Gilgamesh one's looking pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, and then we do have, obviously, the new effect for the talent. So it's, the talent's going to be there. Uh, talent is exclusive to talented heroes and can be viewed at the top of the skill uh, card registration screen before entering a battle. After entering a battle, you can check the talent's effect by long pressing the talent button or viewing them on the Baller's Eye uh, Evil Eye screen. And then we have, uh, if multiple heroes with talents are included in the team, only the talent of the hero uh, position furthest to the left will be uh, applied in the battle. Activated talent, which uh, meets the uh, activation condition, can only be used before skill uh, card registration and will uh, activate immediately upon use. So you have to use it before you use your skills. Makes sense. Right? And then, uh, yeah, dual race hero added. So the dual race hero who is assigned two races has been added. There we go. So human and fairies make sense. The true awakening of a dual race hero will require 50 memory crystals for each race. So we know for a fact, guys, it's 50-50 now of both the races. And then uh, if an ally's unique or holy relic effect target different races of a, a dual hero race, all applicable effects will be activated. Wow. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's a W. That's a major W. All right. Addition to the Book of Heroes Chapter 2 for the 5.5 anniversary. Um, so day 1 to 7 missions will be open in order. And when you log into the game each day, you can do missions whenever you want. So these are going to be the missions right here, guys. And we do get some tickets and stuff too. That's good. Definitely really nice in terms of the rewards we're getting here. And then, yeah, we got a new top 100 season. So this is where you're going to get your Vargis if you're, you know, playing top 100. Uh, increased pierce rate of all heroes participating in the battle. And then changes lifesteal of all heroes to zero and prevents it from increasing. That's crazy. No lifesteal uh, PvP. That's going to be a little insane. And then, yeah, we do got a new card set as well. Increases allies base us by M%. Also increases allies attack percent by X percent each time an allied four knights of apocalypse hero uses a skill to damage enemies in a limit of three times. So you have to five percent of the basic stats and then two percent of the attack percent. Okay, but it's per uh, per ally or every time you use a skill up to say uh, up to three, right? And then uh, yeah, new holy relic for Queen Liz. So when an uh, enemy afflicted by intervention of light attacks an applicable ally, all critical strike damage taken decreases by 50%. And when Goddess Wrath reaches four stacks, two debuffs are removed from applicable allies, and applicable allies gain attack related stats increased by 20% for two turns. That's going to be goddesses and the seven deadly sins, uh, you know, race characters or, or uh, characteristic. Um, yeah, for the coin shop, they did not add light and darks, guys. Dang, man, that's tough. They they need to. They need to eventually, man. They need to. It's, it's getting it's getting a little old now with the, all the old festivals, right? They, they got to start adding to that. Um, okay. Belgius is the next uh, knighthood boss right there. We also have knighthood competition as well. These are going to be the dates for it. So if you're doing, you know, knighthood boss. Um, and then also uh, Guild Wars, that's going to be the dates. We have obviously the new bundles right here, guys. So, you know, if you're buying new bundles, go for it. Do not buy Power Up, by the way. These are scams. You know, do, do not buy those. They're, they're just not worth it. We do have a new rank up bundle as well because we have rank 130. So that is really, really good. And then, uh, yeah, this is a new weekly subscription diamond bundle. Okay, so they added this. And the le the, the legendary seal weekly subscription bundle as well. What are, what are these coins though? What are these coins? I'm trying to see what those are. Uh, they don't say what these coins are for yet. I, I don't know what these coins are going to be for, guys. But this is in the weekly subscription now. So we'll see if that's something that's like actually important or not. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And then they got a brand new starter bundle too, which is good. Uh, definitely all right. All right, let's move on to the like actual like update, you know, uh, stuff as well. So we got the 5.5 anniversary check-in event. So this is part one. This is going to be the 200 diamond check-in. We also have the part two check-in, which is going to be the jump box tickets for Sin. So that's really good. And then, yeah, these special missions, we're getting a full multi for, for Lancelot's banner. You're going to be getting the uh, jump box tickets and then some more jump box tickets as well. 
We have the Supernova Jump Box, Ultimate Heroes, Ultimate Rewards, a chance to get 7 Festival Heroes, check it out now. So we got, for the Part 1 one, they got uh, Queen DM, they got Purgatory Bond, and Perg Melly. And then they get this little box where you can select any of the, the festivals, right? You get, you get, uh, where is it? Did they show it here? Did, this one's for like any of these festivals they show here. Um, yeah, but I don't, I don't think they show it here, uh, right there. Alright, and they, these are the boxes right here for the Supernova boxes. Um, the Almighty Selection box rewards. Oh wait, no, no, this box? No, 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 my bad, I'm mistaken. This box is this. It's, is this right here. It's the Almighty Selection box rewards. And you get one... Yes, we receive one. Oh, it's at random. No, no. Wait, that's a scam. If this is at random, then that's terrible, guys. No, no. They should have let you pick this. If they let you pick this, then you get your LR guaranteed. You get to pick, right? But now it's not a guaranteed thing. It's random. So it's like you can maybe get the $100 coins. You can maybe get, you know, the Holy Relic things. It's like, ah, oh, that's terrible. Okay, that's an L on the up that I can't even lie, but let's move on. Let's move on. So, all right. So, we got the uh, Almighty. Uh, what is this? The bl Blessing event. So, you know, you're going to get, obviously, your stuff with that. Um, we have the tier level unlock. So, this is going to be the tiers for the levels you unlock it. We have the Percival Lucky Cards event. So, this is going to be, like, you know, your standard flip cards with Percival. Um, you know, you're going to get the rewards with that. You get the jump box tickets. You get some SSR pendants, SA coins. All just your general, like, stuff you'd expect pretty much, guys. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the stuff you'd expect. And then we do have the event boss battle parade with Gloom is going to be the first boss. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get... It looks like Malik is going to be next. And, yeah, these are going to be the rewards right here. So, you get the jump box tickets. You get up to 50. You get a lucky bag. You get the, uh, the card for the card set. Uh, yeah. And then moving on from that, we have Season 10 of Heroes Arena. So starting from uh, Heroes Arena Season 10, the new revamp rules will be implemented. Season 10 will be shortened to 5 weeks, not 6 weeks as before. Okay. And then, yeah, so this is going to be the standard stuff. So what are the changes? So the changes for Heroes Arena Season 10 is check the enemy defending teams in the league, which consists of 5 different difficulty levels and select 3 opponents to challenge. So you only have to beat 3. That's good. That's a lot easier. So you only have to beat 3 of them. And you don't have to pick all five. That's that's really good. Okay. So, and you can pick the ones you want to fight. That's, wait, that's actually insane. That's actually a major W. Because that makes it a lot easier to beat the, the hardest difficulty ones. And then these are going to be the rewards now as well. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, Lancelot's going to be a boost character on the Heroes Arena as well for the whole month. So, until the 25th. So, that's pretty good. Um, The Heroes Arena Exchange Shop, that's where you're going to get your LR coins. You get 100 right there. Uh, that's obviously really good. And then we got the Soulgrish Reward Dungeon, which does have jump box tickets and gems. So that's really good. So that's going to be, uh, if they do seven days of this, right? How many days of this do they say? Uh, so 12 4 So about, what is that, like two weeks worth of that? So it's 14 gems right there. That's good. And then the 5.5 uh, Fight Festival events. So you get 50% more PvP, uh, you know, uh, points pretty much when you're playing PvP. You get some rewards for playing PvP as well. Uh, that's really good. And then, yeah, the Brawl Victory Box as well. Uh, diamond perk event so this is you know the amount of gems you spend uh to get a lancelot ssr outfit um okay let's see what else we got the uh, lucky bag event okay we got the king exchange right yep so king exchange event just standard stuff guys we got a bunch of boosting events for new players you guys can read all this if you want to pause the video and stuff man but this is pretty much just a bunch of boosting events right and then uh, yeah a new hot pass outfit for sobnock okay Sure, they didn't show it on the last stream because obviously no one knows who Sobnock is, if especially if they're coming back to the game. Um, yeah, and then they got a battle event, and then we got some system updates. Okay, here we go. So this is some uh, quality of life. So Transcendent Demonic Beast Floor 4 feature improved. After clearing the Transcendent Demonic Beast 4th Floor and unlocking additional stages, the extra mode will become available, allowing you to earn extra rewards. Okay. So the Colossal Wind Source requires to unlock the uh, Transcendent uh, Birds extra mode. It can be purchased from the new shop Oslo's Pouch. Okay, and the new item token, which can be used to craft each Demonic Beast's Holy Relic, will be uh, added. So these you can craft any Holy Relic just instantly with these items right here, which is good. You know, uh, I mean, it's, it's not like super insane, but I mean, getting able to just make a Holy Relic instantly without having to grind it is good. Um, so we'll definitely be taking that. Oh, these. Okay, so these from the weeklies can be converted into these items right here. And this is the Oslo Shop. Oslo Gold can be acquired by purchasing certain bundles. By using Oslo Gold, you can purchase each Demonic Beast tokens and Colossal Wind Source. Mm, so that's how they're trying to get those, uh, what's it called, guys? The uh, the weekly bundles purchased and all of that. 
They're using this Oslo's uh, thing as well. Oh, but they're also giving us 100 in the mail. That's good. So they're going to start us off with 100. That's nice. So we at least do get one run of the Colossal Wind Source. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad then. That's not too bad. And then bundle locations in the item shop have been changed. Okay. Max rank has been expanded from 120 to 130 now. The increased max stamina for each rank. So uh, max stamina for ranks 1 to 20 has been increased by plus 100. So now it is 200 max stamina now. The coin shop item purchase limit has been increased as well for the auto uh, tickets in the gold shop. Okay. And then, yeah, and then that's it, guys. There we go. And then we got Sigurd in the, uh, yeah, in the, the regular draw. Okay, so there we go, guys. That is the patch notes right there for the Lancelot Festival. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, shout out to the chat. I was doing this live as well. So, you know, we got a live stream uh, video and for the channel when this, is, when this is out as well. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys do enjoy it. And we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Have a good rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.